Hi, it's Nell, and the day has come for me to do this project, or at least start this project. I don't think I'm going to finish it today, but it is how I prune my bougainvillea after a light freeze. Now, I've already done a post about what I was doing in the meantime, which was basically nothing. I will leave the link to that post down below. But now it is March 6th, or it could be March 7th, I'm not quite sure, early March. Days have warmed, evenings have started to warm up too. There's no danger of a freeze. So I'm going to get at it and start shaping and pruning out this bougainvillea Barbara Karst. And how I prune it after a light freeze is basically how I prune it to shape it in the wintertime. Anyway, it's just that I'm probably going to have to take a little bit more off. I'm not really going to know until I get into it, but I will tell you what I am doing or what I have done so you know. Up here, basically at the ends is where the cold got it. So I'm going to take those in. I'm going to thin them out. The whole plant has gotten way too dense, so I'm going to thin that out. And I want to do it before um, spring and summer come and before it really starts to grow. And bougainvillea is really forgiving when it comes to pruning because it can be pruned into a shrub. It can be espaillade. It can be a vine. It can be a tree. It really takes pruning well. But you have to know that it does flower on the new growth. So if you keep on cutting off the new growth, you aren't going to get any of the flowers. And of course, that's what we uh, want. Um, if you see an old bougainvillea, perhaps one that's 20 feet tall, and all the color is at the, at the very top and on the outer edges, it's because that is where the new growth is. I prefer to keep mine pruned so that that new growth keeps on emerging and the color keeps on coming because why have this plant if you can't have the explosion of color that goes along with it? Now I'm going to show you the driveway side of the bougainvillea anyway. And it just needs a nice shaping up. That's where it's really thin there. It doesn't have any foliage. That's the frost. But it does have a lot of new, new growth coming on it. It's really dense in through here. Starting to grow a little bit too far into the garage and it's just collapsed into a big mound over there. So I start by taking out a few major branches and then I work from there. I'll probably start in there because as you can see there's a lot in there and I want to take if I'm going to take a, a branch out look, look, let's see if I can get it I will go down to a main branch and I will take the whole branch out oh, otherwise you're going to get a lot of growth coming off of the shorter branch unless that's what you want. I just uh, want to thin it out because it's going to get thick anyway once it starts to come back. So I've already taken off some so what I'm basically doing is I'm going like this. You've got to remember it's going to come back and grow like crazy. Now these two are crossing over here. First I'm going to take out this. Uh, then I'm going to take out that. And the way I see it I can always take off a little bit first and then I can take off more if I want to because you can't put it back on. So then this one I'm going to cut back to like here. That one I'm going to leave. It still has some color on it. It still has some flowers on it. But these really thin ones like this one coming all the way from here. I'm just going to cut there. And I usually do it once through and then I stand back and I look at it and then I go back and I do a final pruning sort of like when you get your hair cut you get your hair cut and then they go back and they do all the foofy foos to it I am continuing on and there's a branch I'm going to take off in here because it curls and it goes all the way in there so I'm going to take it right at the Y where it comes up out there I just got a thorn in my finger there. So I don't want that. I'm opening that up and now it makes this one look really 
awkward too. So I'm going to take that off completely. And you have to remember that when you're pruning the bougainvillea like at this time, it's not at its fullest. Um, so it will get really full. So it might look a little thin to you by the time I get through with it, but just you wait in a month or two. It'll be gorgeous. So I've made quite a bit of progress in that back corner. It's pretty much all thinned out. There's just a few branches in there I see now that really need to be thinned out, but it still has a little bit of color on it, but that doesn't concern me because there's a lot coming on it. And right over to your, I think it would be your, your right side of the screen, um, that's where I really need to thin out. So this area from here up is pretty much thinned out how I, w I want it to be. Except for that big tall one in the back. I haven't gotten to that yet. That is one of the frost or the freeze. Freeze damaged parts. And now I'm going to thin out a little bit on the bottom too. And this branch here that has a lot going on. I'm going to cut it to right about there and take off all this stuff because it's just going to get crazy and explode. I just took off that branch and here you can see the ends of the our branches almost look burned. But that's what a freeze does. And then on lower, on the lower parts of the branches, it's really putting out or it was putting out tons of growth. And it just would have been so thick and I just didn't want it to get too much taller. But that's a another view so you can see it a little bit better. Got a good amount of in here done too. And now I'm going to be working on these. And then I think that's going to be it for the day today anyway. Pruning to be continued. Okay, it's about three weeks later I think. And I'm finally going to finish up this side. Um, it's really come out with a lot of color in the meantime, as you can see. But there are some branches that I need to cut off. And I want to take some of these in a little bit. But that's about it. So this branch right here has a little bit of foliage right at the base of it near where it attaches to the stem. So I'm just going to cut this whole thing off because this is going to get all full. But that, those are, are the branches that you really want to take back or, or, or you want to take out. And that's the advantage of letting it grow out a bit so you can see. There's another well, one of those right there, those scrawny ones that I'm going to take out. And then I'm just going to thin a little bit in here. And that'll be it for now. All right, I'm all done. It, it took me under five minutes to finish this side. <laughs> anyway, so I want to do a quick recap for those branches that got hit by the, by the light freeze. I either took them all the way back or I took them partially back to where there was new growth coming out. I brought it down too because I didn't want the plant to be so tall so I cut some of those taller branches off. I thinned it out. I took out the crossing over branches and I just took out some of the thinner lower branches that didn't look so good because I, I like this sort of a freeform airy shape this plant has. Um, I don't need privacy here. I'm at the very end of a dead end street. So, you know, it's not like I need to shield, shield myself off. Oh, excuse me. My corsage is, my corsage is, is tickling my neck. <laughs> but uh, I like the form it has now. So I will keep it this way. What's going to happen? It's going to really want to fill in as those branches, as those branches um, all start start to fill in on the side. So I will need to do some thinning out. I will also need to prune after the flowering because if you prune off the old wood, then it forces that new wood and that's where you get the flowers. The new growth, not the new wood. <laughs> Sorry, this is the fifth video I filmed today and it's like 
quarter of six. So it's like, la. But I think I said at the beginning of this video, but I will say it again, that bougainvilleas bloom on new growth. And I will do at least two or three more prunings on this plant this year. Um, this one does grow pretty fast and it flowers. In the summer when, when it's so hot, I don't, I don't prune it. It doesn't show as much color. It's a little bit like, oh, you know, it's 110 in the heat, you know, because this is like a south exposure here. So it looks the best in the winter, spring, and the fall. But nonetheless, I still need to do some prunings throughout the year. So as always, there is a blog post to go along with this video. The link to that will be down below along with our bougainvilleas categories categories so you can see all the posts and and the videos that i've done on bougainvillea i hope that you have found this video about pruning a bougainvillea after a light freeze to be helpful and why it's good to wait until it starts to warm up to see how the plant looks until you really get in and do some action on it <laughs> and i have a lot more videos coming your way so stay tuned for those i thank you for all your likes and your subscribes i really appreciate them. Now let's get out in the garden, into our beautiful gardens, into any garden and make our world a more beautiful place. As always, I thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!